In this episode, we'll celebrate a nostalgic Halloween. Hey, welcome back. I'm Mark, your host of Your Creative Brief. And if you remember back to the beginning of this season three, episode one, we discussed one of the most powerful design trends for 2024, which was use of nostalgia in your creative works or marketing. Now we're not gonna recover all that, but I encourage you to go back and watch that episode. And it is Halloween time, which is filled with opportunities to leverage nostalgia. It is this super complex and fascinating holiday with Celtic traditions, Roman Catholicism, and American consumerism. And while I'm not gonna cover all that as well, I am gonna leave you a link to one of my new favorite podcasts called Our American Stories. And they have a couple of experts on Halloween that really go over all the traditions really well. I encourage you to check that out this week. Now, I personally prefer a more mid-century or retro vintage Halloween era, you know, when it was whimsical and charming, kind of before all the gore and the real risque adult side of Halloween that's become so popular now. And I'm gonna show you how that mid-century retro Halloween nostalgia can be used in things like ads and apparel and decor, decorations, social media, and so much more. I love spending time over at Pinterest collecting holiday ads. There's so many for Halloween. And you can see like in these first couple examples here from the period, these witches, how they influence and inform modern ads or event promotions like these posters for Halloween bashes or balls. If you go over to Dribble as well, you can kind of see how people are pulling these retro elements and including them in modern projects. I love, love, love how companies like Paperless Post are using these vintage Halloween graphics but then there's like a text area for like a modern invitation to a Halloween ball. They had several examples like this. Here's another one with a haunted house. And I also came across a couple uh, things like this on Pinterest with this animated ghost. Uh, it's like a great social media post. The animation draws you in and that ghost is kind of really in that same retro uh, style. In terms of apparel, of course, you have like your Etsy, Redbubble, and Tee Public that are going to have these t-shirts and things with the nostalgic Halloween graphics, but it's also working its way into the main big box stores like Target, as you look at this t-shirt. Now I mentioned before, if you go over to Etsy, you're just gonna find a ton of vintage retro and Halloween things for decorations or home decor that really pull from actual advertisements and designs and ephemera from um, mid-century or even a little bit before. Um, but it's interesting how this is also working its way into, you know, mainstream. You can find things at Amazon now or uh, even uh, Michaels and some of the retailers. So I've got some great resources if you want to incorporate uh, nostalgia into your Halloween or other holiday creative work. And there's this awesome website called The Graphics Fairy. And she has a section on there with the 400 best vintage Halloween graphics, just all sorts of retro and nostalgic graphics, completely free that you can use in commercial or your personal projects. I recently did an interview with Maggie Ward, who is this phenomenal lettering artist, illustrator, muralist, and chalk artist. And she's been hired by clients like Disney uh, to do these amazing illustrations. And one of her clients was HP or Hewlett Packard who contracted with her to make Halloween printables that you can actually download right now. And what I love that Maggie did is these are real like period pieces or nostalgic looking pieces. Check some of these out, they're just amazing. Definitely check out Maggie's entire portfolio as well. I'll leave a link to that in the show notes. I kind of got this idea to do a printable Halloween uh, nostalgic work from AI and I got the idea, I was actually walking through some antique stores and I was noticing that vendors were starting to use AI to generate these images to put in these black frames, uh, just these random Halloween images of uh, characters or maybe a haunted house or something. So I went over to Mid Journey and just started to explore uh, some different nostalgic Halloween compositions based on 
styles and things that I was seeing on Pinterest. And I landed on kind of creating a uh, mock candy ad for that period. So here you can see that I took my mid-journey design into Photoshop. I needed to remove the terrible lettering that mid-journey put in there. And then I wanted to kind of put some additional um, canvas area around the creation so I could add some type. Didn't really like this black section here on the left, so I just used generative fill to knock that out as well. And then I found some fonts on Adobe Fonts. You could use Google Fonts or whatever that really looked like they were from the period and just came up with some dummy text to put in there. Kind of centered the composition. Didn't really like how this part of the jack-o'-lantern smile was a little bit off. Just easily went into generative fill again and just uh, came up with a different composition for that. Really easy to do. And then there you have it. I could print it out, put it in a frame, put it on my shelf for decoration. So whether you're working on a personal project or something commercial, there's just a ton of resources and inspiration out there for you to incorporate nostalgia into something with Halloween. If you have any questions on something that I demonstrated uh, or techniques that I use, feel free to drop me a comment below. I also wanted to let you know that I'm working on a super special Christmas edition of Your Creative Brief, where I did a little bit of traveling to do some historic photo merges and photography and things like that. I would love it if you subscribe so you don't miss that episode. So it's Halloween. Don't get too spooky out there. Don't eat too much candy and I'll see you next time. But for now, I'm Mark for Your Creative Brief.